to the Rock of Ages Ministry Television Program, an international evangelistic ministry, reaching souls around the world for Jesus, a ministry with crimes and wonders, healing and deliverance, with your host, a Latter-day Apostle, a man with God's vision for today, one who's reaching out to the lost at any cost around the world for Jesus, Apostle Ronnie Bailey. Apostle Bailey is a man of God, operating in the gifts of the Spirit, healing miracles, and with a prophetic anointing upon his life. He has been called out by God to break down strongholds, break victory over drug and alcohol addicted people, poverty, generational curses, and all other spiritual bondages to bring God's holy restoration to souls around the world. If you need prayer or counseling, please avail yourself to our prayer and counseling hotline numbers. They are 337-706-7262. That's 337-706-7262. Or 504-613-7234. That's 504-613-7234. We have committed counsels, prayer counselors standing by right now to assist you around the clock at your prayer and counseling needs. Or if you would like to write this ministry, you may do so by writing Rock of Ages Ministries, 201 South College Road, Lafayette, Louisiana, 70503. And remember to send all your prayer requests. Our email address is ronnie at ronniebailey.com and our website can be accessed anytime at www.ronniebailey.com. You may also watch our telecast on our brand new webcast channel at www.vo.com forward slash channels forward slash Rock of Ages TV and enjoy our telecast anytime, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at your convenience. Now why don't you take a moment and call a friend and let them know that the Rock of Ages Ministries television program is now on the air. He's my joy, my peace, my wonderful counselor, Jesus. Here's his name. I feel the praise of God. Hey, I'm going to give you my name of praise. Praise the Lord. Amen. I tell you. You're in store for a very special telecast uh, that we're going to be talking about the, the spirit world. Amen? And operating in the spirit of the Lord. Uh, my name is Apostle Ronnie Bailey. I'll be your host. We have a, a whole host of ministers, even some on the way, by the way. And uh, let's just give the ministers in the studio a big hand. Come on. Yeah. Give yourselves a big hand. Hallelujah. And I know those are, of you are applauding at home, and we just want to welcome you today. Uh, we're going to give you some special uh, teaching concerning the Spirit. I'll just open up with a scripture just to set the stage. It says, uh, what we have received is not the Spirit of the world. In other words, when you have become saved, you did not get saved by the Spirit of the world. But, uh, uh, but the Spirit who is from God. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. So that, we may be, so that we may understand what God has freely given us. Amen? Amen? Hallelujah. So we may understand what God has freely given us. And I, and I wish uh, and pray that everybody understand that. You know, a lot of people say, well, uh, how much do you charge for funerals? How much do you charge for weddings? How much do you charge for all the nations? I said, we don't charge for anything. And, and, and the reason I feel that I could say that is because the Bible says, freely we have received, so freely give. So when I give uh, something like a, 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 a sacrament of ordination or a sacrament of someone being baptized with the Holy Spirit, amen, how can I charge for something that didn't come from me. You know, it came from above. And that's what this scripture is talking about. It says, what we have received is not from the spirit of this world. Amen. So if I have to produce it, I have to produce it from this world. But it says, but the spirit who is from God, which is God's Holy Spirit, so that we may understand what God has freely given us. Freely you have received. So God said, freely give. Can I get an amen? Amen. amen. Hallelujah. And I'll tell you, right, we're about to go to station identification. And when we come back, 
we're going to uh, hear from our very first anointed minister of the evening, and that is Prophetess Linda Augustine. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And uh, so don't touch that dial. We'll be right back just after this important message. You are watching Rock of Ages Media Ministries International. As a ministry, we are here to help you in regards to biblical counseling and prayer. So please don't hesitate to call or write in regards to any counseling needs or prayer requests that you may have. Our prayer, counseling, and information hotline numbers are 337-706-7262 or 504-613-7234. Or feel free to write us at Rock of Ages Ministries International, 201 South College Road, Suite 214, Lafayette, Louisiana, 70503. Our email address is rockofagesmens at ll.com. Our website is www.ronniebailey.com. Welcome back, welcome back, and we just thank you for tuning in today, amen. And uh, if you need prayer counseling, please avail yourselves to the prayer counseling and information hotline numbers that are on your screen, 504-613-7234 or either 337-706-7262. And our email address is ronnie at ronniebailey.com. Website info is right before you, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, www.ronniebailey.com. And we welcome your comments. Uh, we welcome all your praise reports because we know this telecast is airing around the world. You know, sometimes I go to YouTube and I see me with the different suits on. I say, you know, this ministry must be pretty active. <laughs> you know, and, and, and I feel good about that. I feel good about that. But, you know, it's just so unbelievable what God is doing through this ministry. And I tell you, these fine anointing ministers have come from near and far. And I want to welcome our very first one. Amen. Play, pay close attention to what the Spirit is saying unto the church. And we want to welcome, let's give a hand clap to Prophetess Linda Augustine. Come on. Hallelujah. Yeah. Glory. Glory. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. I just want to say I'm, I'm so thankful to God to be here. I thank you, Apostle, for inviting me. Praise the Lord. Amen. My operating pleasure. When we talk about operating in the Spirit, moving in the Spirit, when we speak about moving in the Spirit, we're, t we're speaking about really obeying the Word mm. of God. Because God has called us to walk in the Spirit. He said to walk in the Spirit and we will not obey the, the, move, the, the uh, callings of the flesh. Oh, my God. See, we, we are supposed to live by the spirit of god see in ourselves we can do nothing because greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world the holy spirit has come to empower believers for the work of the kingdom yes, yes, he to, has. Li to live victoriously see on the day of pentecost the believers were all together on one accord and then they were filled with the holy spirit the holy spirit comes to convict the world of sin Mm -hmm. And we as believers come together, we should expect a move of God. We, That's right. we should expect an impartation. We should expect to see what the Spirit has to say. And we should expect to see God move in a miraculous way. See, the flesh cannot please God. Mm. It's a struggle between our spirit, our spirit, and the flesh. So it, it, it's a struggle when we're trying to obey within ourselves but the power of the holy spirit the greater one that dwells within us he helps us 
See, the spirit, the more we build ourselves up in the spirit, the mm -hmm. more effective we are in ministry. Say See, that. because we are co-laborers with Christ, with the Lord. The Holy Spirit has come to help us. He's our comforter, but he also comes to help us. But as I said, we can do nothing in ourselves but by him. Now, 1 Corinthians 2 and 4 says, the apostle says, Apostle Paul said that his preaching, he didn't come to entertain you. He didn't come, he said, to give you, I'm, I'm par paraphrasing, but he said, I didn't come with enticing words of man's mm. wisdom. Thank you, Jesus. But he says that I came in demonstration of the spirit and the My power. God. So it would, it would be known so mm -hmm. that you could know that this is all God. It's not of us. This is not a show. This is not a performance. But this is the reality mm -hmm. of the kingdom of God. Uh, 1 Peter 1 and 12, it says that the Old Testament prophets, they prophesied about salvation. They prophesied. They prophesied, but they did not understand what they were saying. They didn't understand the plan of God because it was not revealed to them. God did not reveal to them his plan of salvation. It's the plan of the gospel of salvation through the power of the Holy Spirit. See, the gospel can only be preached through the Holy Spirit. The gospel did not come at that time. So God did not even share with them, even though they desired to know. The Bible says that even the angels decide, desired to peek into mm -hmm. salvation. That's right. But God did not reveal it to them either. They, they understood it, but they wanted to know what, in other words, what is it that God would see in man that he would love us so much that he would go that far? But we are to stir ourselves up in the spirit of God so that we can move in the spirit of God the way God has planned for us. This is the wonderful, the wonderful Holy Spirit of God. Yes, it is. May you be blessed in the Lord and continuously build yourself up on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Yeah. My yeah. God. Yeah. Now, that wasn't setting the stage. Yes. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. I think the rest of us, we, we, can, we can leave it right there if we were running out of time. But since we have some time, we want to move to our very next guest. But I just want to uh, bring out another scripture. It says, be not forgetful to entertain strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels unaware. And that's in Hebrews, the 13th chapter, in the second verse. Amen. And I just wanted to read that. I'm not going to even, you know, take our time to explain that. I think that just sounds, it's just good to hear that. <laughs> Amen. <clears throat> that you need to be good to all men because you may, the next person that you may see might be an angel. And uh, he might want to bless you with that treasure. <laughs> you want to be nice to him. Amen. And so maybe I'll share a little bit later about that because the Lord just gave me something. But let's move to our very next guest, Minister Sharon Nabon. <clears throat> welcome, welcome, welcome. Tell us a little bit about the spirit world or what God has given you and operating in the spirit of God. Thank you, Apostle Ronnie Bailey. Um, and welcome all of you all on the panel and those that are looking on the airway. Uh, the Spirit of God is uh, of truth. The Spirit of God talks about the fruit of God's Spirit, mm -hmm. which in Galatians 5 and 22, it talks about the nine fruit of His Spirit. Now, if we do not have the fruit of His Spirit, then we cannot be led by the Spirit of That's God. Right. And God said that his sons and his daughters are led by his spirit. So if we are led by his spirit, amen, we in some way are working on or have the spirit of God within us. That's right. Which means that when we have the spirit of God in us, the spirit itself shows us, directs us, leads us, helps My us, God. And, and gives us the power that's in him that he put in us to do and say the things that he allowed in Jesus' name. So as much as we die of self, as much as we leave self away from 
from our flesh because the flesh and the spirit do not work together. Then we can be uh, working through God's spirit. In Galatians 5, it talks about that, Mm -hmm. God's spirit only. So as we work, brothers and sisters, in the spirit, let us work, work with him in spirit and in truth. When we praise and give him worship and praise, hallelujah, so that we could die in his spirit, his spirit will come so strongly within us as we lift him up, as we allow his spirit to continue to move through us and in us, then we will be able to do the work of the God, not in us, but in his spirit, the almighty God, not in us, but in the God spirit, the almighty spirit. Yes. Hallelujah. For the sons and God and daughters of God are truly led by his spirit. Are you a son or a daughter of God? Or do you live more in the flesh? more in the mind, more in the self, then we have to examine ourselves. Examine ourselves. That's right. And, and see and recognize where we truly are. Because as long as we're on this earth, we have to learn, we have to grow, we have to study, and we have to know that we know that God died so that we may live on this earth. Mm-hmm. And, and when he comes, <clears throat> amen? And what better is it to live in the Spirit of God while we're here? Hallelujah. 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 What better Hallelujah. is it? The love, the joy, the peace, the long suffering. Hallelujah. Temperance, self control. Hallelujah. Gentleness. Hey, gentleness, meekness. meekness. Hallelujah. We love you, Lord, and we, God loves you. Amen? And yes. believe that in Jesus' name. We love you, and God loves you. Hallelujah. And he wants each and every one of us to be led by his spirit. So let us continue to die. Amen? Amen. Amen. Now I'll tell you. Yes. (laughs) That was a statement I have to add a little something to. Uh, I think she left with, let us continue to die. I mean, she means in the flesh now. Okay. <laughs> so in the flesh, so we can live in the spirit. Is that right? And let's give the Lord a hand clap. That was beautiful, Minister Sharon. Hallelujah. And if you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I want you to repeat this prayer with me and those of us in the studio. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I know that I'm a sinner. I know that I'm a sinner. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. Wash me in your blood. Wash me in your Come blood. into my heart. Come into my heart. And be Lord of my life. And be Lord of my life. I receive you now. I receive you. I know that I am saved. I know that I am saved. Right now. Right now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. If you said that prayer, let me be one of the first to congratulate you and welcome you into the kingdom of God. Let's give them a victory clap. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. And uh, if now that you're saved, uh, you need to find you a church home. Amen? Uh, Preferably a full gospel and Holy Ghost filled church. And the different ministers that's on here, amen, you, some of them are pastors. They can invite you to their church, their ministry, or their numbers are going to come on the screen. You can call them directly. Next, you need to establish a prayer life. Amen? Because it's not about a religion. You know, you didn't just become religious. Amen? But it's about a relationship with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. That's called salvation. Hallelujah. And finally, you need to get your Bible. Hallelujah. Bibles are very inexpensive. You can go to the dollar store and buy a Bible today. You know, I mean, no one have an excuse. Because the Bible said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. And I tell you, if you buy a Bible for a dollar, I mean, that's the most valuable, you know, uh, commodity you can purchase. Because the Bible is also called the book of knowledge. No matter what you're trying to learn, 
is somewhere in that Bible. And I think we was covering that on the layer, the layers, uh, there, there are seven layers in the Bible. And when you get to that seventh layer, <laughs> it's going to tell you all of history, everything that you want to know about this world and about the things, the world to come. So don't touch that dial. We go into this anointed uh, psalmist, Psalmist Paulette Wright. And, um, and she was with us over in Houston, Texas, where we was at Mysteries of God Fellowship Church with the Honorable uh, Dwayne Broussard, Apostle Dwayne Broussard. But uh, you don't want to miss this song. And when we come back, you're going to hear from none other than uh, Dr. June B. Paul of Operation Outreach for Souls. And she's going to weigh in on the spirit world. Watch this. Of light Seem to weigh you down, 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 down.
He's working it out for you. Hallelujah. And for me, Minister Sharon say, he's working it out for us. And, and you know, the best way for God to work it out, he says, it's not done by might. It's not done by power, but it's done by my spirit. And uh, let me just read one more scripture. Because this next guest here, he, you know, anything can be an accolade for him to go into the word. So I'm going to just give you a little bit more because that was enough right there. Uh, that he's working it out for you. And uh, it's not done by might nor power, but by his spirit. But uh, our next scripture that I'm looking at is, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You see, man is made up of a spirit, a soul, and a body. There is a spirit world. We know there's a natural world, so there must be a soulish world. There are three realms, spirit, soul, and body. And so one of those realms is the spirit, and that's what this is talking about. In the spirit, you don't see this every day, but there's principalities. You don't be seeing them, but you feel them. There's uh, uh, their, their, their powers against the rulers. They got rulers of darkness that's working. It's invisible to, to the naked eye of this world. Against spiritual wickedness in high places. Now, that is a super accolade. I mean, not an accolade, but uh, uh, to set up for our brother to, uh, to, to expound on. Amen? This is the key. The key is there is a spirit world, right? And there is a natural world. And there is a soulish world. And what has God put upon your heart today to share with us? Let's uh, stay right there in that area there. We're going <laughs> to stay right you, there. It don't take much for Yeah, you. I was actually uh, <laughs> looking at a different scripture, but no, 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 no. We're going right there. Okay. And the scripture there tells us that um, let's not wrestle with flesh and blood. Yes. And so when we deal with the not wrestling of flesh and blood, let's kind of modernize that. We're not going to wrestle with the confusion that comes to us in this earth. We're not going to wrestle with high blood pressure. We're not going to wrestle with the things that the news shows you that brings fear. Now you're so afraid, you're doing things that makes no sense. That's right. That's flesh and blood. Anything that comes to you from your eyes, your ears, it could be something that was said to you as a child. It could be considered a word curse. Anything that comes that gets you off of your game will be flesh and blood. And so the deal is we have to understand how to deal with that. That's right. And so in dealing with that, what I'm saying to you, you must have God's spirit. Amen. See, there are things that are being engineered by darkness itself and using scientists and doctors to put out sickness. Mm -hmm. If that is the case and you do not believe in signs and wonders and you do not believe in God's spirit, then that means you are under the bondage of what society puts out there. If society says it's incurable, then that means you're in an incurable box. That's right. So how will you deal with that? You have to deal with it by rising into God's science, which overrides flesh and blood science. When you have God's science, then that means the flesh and blood acquiesces. That means it steps back. It gets out of the way and let his spirit go forth. That's right. Not by his might, he said. Yeah. Right. Meaning the might of men. That's the second scripture. Not by the bullying. Right. Because people will bully you. Mm -hmm. The spirit overrides the bullying. Mm -hmm. The spirit <clears throat> overrides all type of issues that mankind will try to bring before you. The spirit will give you peace. The spirit will give you love. And the spirit will crush Whatever that is, because he says that the God of peace will crush. That God of peace is a spirit. 
his Holy Spirit. And as you understand how to operate in that area, as you study the word, as you have a desire, and one other scripture that you went to, Apostle, that scripture that said concerning entertaining strangers. Mm. How many times have you seen someone that was a stranger and you didn't give them the time of day? How many times have you had the opportunity to be a blessing to a stranger first? Mm -hmm. And that stranger in return gave you a blessing. That's that right. stranger in return went to your heavenly father and said, oh, they mm -hmm. blessed me. That's right. They blessed my socks off. You need to send them a blessing. Yeah. Come on, if you've done that, Say this with me. I got the blessing. I Come on. <laughs> Say it right there. I got the, the blessing. blessing. I got it. I got, I got it. it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, that's the spirit right there. The spirit brings the blessing. Now that you have the blessing, the blessing overrides the confusion. That's the right. blessing overrides even poverty. If you have a problem in your finances, chances are you have a problem with peace. Chances are you caught up into the flesh mm -hmm. and blood. That's so right. with that being said, we're going to move into the spirit. We're going to move into his peace. That's the peace of Jesus. And we're going to move into the love of our heavenly father. And we're going to move into the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 I want you to know Amen. I've got the blessing. Come on, let's say it one more time. I've got, got the, the blessing. blessing. Amen. I got it, I got it. Hallelujah. Yeah. I tell you, boy, uh, Apostle Paul is in the studio because he definitely was so articulate in the Word of God. And that's the way that we want to be. And by the way, the word I was looking for, I said accolade, I was looking for segue. Amen. But you made it, you turned it into an accolade, you know, because I want to compliment you. That was very well done. Let's give the Lord a hand clap. Hallelujah. And uh, without any, this lady don't need no introduction anyway, but I'm going to let what you said be a segue to what she's about to say, <laughs> okay? So would you pass the mic to her, Dr. June B. Powell of Operation Outreach for Souls. Tell us what God has to say about the spirit world and operating in the things of the spirit. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Apostle Bailey, to all of our fellow ministers here. And to the spirit of the living God, hallelujah, this place is just oh permeated. Oh, my God. You thank you, Jesus. Thank yes. you, thank yes. you, yes. thank you. Thank you, Lord. Truly, Praise God. Truly, yeah. Just truly a few present. comments. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The first point that we want to make is that the spirit of God, the Holy Ghost, is as much God. Yes. Hallelujah. It's the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Amen. And we as Christians cannot operate fully in the things of God unless mm. we recede that uh, anointed coming upon the baptism the infilling of the Holy Ghost. We yes. Born again by the Spirit of God. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, the prophets of old, amen, the Spirit of God uh, came upon them, talked to them, and they spoke uh, to the people. Say Hallelujah. That. And then when uh, Jesus, uh, through the four Gospels, we see the Spirit of God operating in Jesus. And then on the day of Pentecost, we see that the Spirit of God, hallelujah, came upon and was available to all people. Have you received the Holy Spirit since you believe, believers? And Amen. all believers, hallelujah, have access to all the, this, this gift, this uh, Father, Son, mm. and Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It's yours. It's yours. And we, through the Spirit, we're able to know all things as he teaches us. Hallelujah. We're to operate if we would uh, mm -hmm. receive mm -hmm. it in the gifts of the Spirit. Hallelujah. Press in. Hallelujah. Honor God. Give yourself totally to, to the Lord. Rejoice and be glad. Hallelujah. But, you know, we'll have to. Stay in the word of God. Hallelujah. Read the word. Meditate upon the word. Don't skip a day and here and there. And uh, be with your friends out there who are doing some things that do not, that grieve the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. But continue in the continue. things of God. For God That's said right. also in the Zerubbabel, uh, I think it was, is it not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit. So Hallelujah. Yes. And another place, praise God, we see that he is a spirit of grace. He can do. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Right. And supplication. Mm -hmm. And all the uh, seven spirits of God in Isaiah uh, spoke in the 11th chapter. Uh, all those uh, anointed attributes, beginning spirits, with rest, yeah. 
and wisdom and knowledge and all seven of them were upon Jesus Christ when he was born. Hallelujah. Amen. And so because he has it. Uh, and he, we're born again, we're one with him, mm-hmm. then you have all those That's attributes right. in you too. That's right. Do you know what you have? That's right. Do you know what is available to you? And <laughs> through the Holy Spirit, is uh, we can cast out demons, amen, pull down the strongholds, whatever mm-hmm. you need from God. There are those of you, somebody who's sick right now, and you're mm-hmm. just satisfied. That's right. But in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, Thank you. we curse the Satan. Amen. And we release the Spirit of God upon you to do the work of Jesus Christ. As he said in uh, Luke 4 and 18, I'm mm-hmm. come to preach the gospel. That's and right. the gospel will set you That's free. Right. That's right. So love on the Holy Spirit. Don't grieve him. He's as much God as the Father and the Son. God bless you. Is our prayer for you. And we love you. And yes. we shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. hallelujah. Just pass that over to our next anointed guest. Uh, even though I know it's not going to be easy for her to follow that. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Because uh, you covered a lot of important uh, scripture and information in the Bible uh, concerning the spirit. And boy, you really did it when you hit those uh, seven spirits in Isaiah. Was it seven spirits in Isaiah? Isaiah 11. Yes, yeah, 11th chapter. Praise God. Y'all need to study some of this. Amen. Yes. But let us move while we have like about four or five minutes left before our next break, our final break of the evening, to the anointed. I used to call her prophetess, Grace Bickham, but she has moved up, you know, pr- promotion coming from the Lord. Yes. Apostle oh, oh. Grace Bickham, Amen. all the way from Hammond, Louisiana. Come on. Yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about the spirit world. Hey, Amen. <laughs> Flesh cannot please God. Thank you, Apostle. Flesh cannot please God, but the spirit. It says it's impossible to please God without believing in him. And in Isaiah 61, it says, The spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord God hey! has anointed me to preach the good tidings unto the meek, to open the prison gate to those that have yes. been bound, and to let the oppressed go free. And without the spirit of God, it's impossible to let the oppressed go free. Yes, it is. And Father has said that God speaks to us through his spirit, because God is a spirit, and those that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth if the flesh doesn't want to die we say kill it it's good to kill the flesh because yes. the flesh doesn't want anything from the Lord. Remember, you communicate with God in spirit. You cannot communicate with God in flesh because the flesh doesn't want you to do anything. So we are talking operating in spirit. In Acts chapter 1 verse 8, he says here, But ye shall receive power, and yes. the Holy Ghost shall come upon you, and ye shall minister to me even unto the utmost part of the earth. We say, where is the utmost part of the earth? I'm talking of, let's start here in New Orleans. Let's Let's get to uh, <laughs> Baruch. Let's go to Lafayette. Just around here. Oh Forget about other places that you don't know. We need to get to the in the places to, to, to minister the word of God. And this can be done by the Spirit. And you need to receive it by the Spirit of God. So you need to just let go everything that stands on your way. Remember, Jesus gave that commission to throw the Spirit that we always, by ourselves, we can do nothing. We say that every time we go to church. By myself, I can do nothing. But with God, mm. I can do all things. All How can things you do all possible. things without the Spirit of God? So the Spirit of God is going to lead you and guide you. And remember the disciples, we talk of feeling of the Holy Spirit. They were in one accord. Why? Because they believe in him. They let the flesh to die. And they hold on to the Spirit yes, of God. Yes, and yes. they were singing, they were praying. And the Holy Spirit came down. He said the day of Pentecost, he descended in one accord. He came like a, a mighty rushing wind. And he rest upon each and every one of them. Why? Because they were in spirit. And remember, and God shall <coughs> it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord. When you call on him, how do you call on him without even believing? It's the spirit of God that leads you to believe. And remember, the name of God you cannot call without the spirit of God. Second Corinthians he says, for though we walk in the flesh we do not walk after the flesh because the weapons of the warfare is the pulling down 
mm-hmm. of the strongholds. <clears throat> so we have to pull down and cast in yes, our imagination yes, yes. and every thought that rises itself against the knowledge of God, you need to pull it down. The negative thought, the negative mind. The only the Spirit of God will lead you and it will guide you. And we talk of operating in the Spirit of God. Hey, as we go to church, yes, we read the Bible. Yes, we sing the song. And where is the Spirit of God? Jesus even told the woman at the well, he said, those that worship God must worship him in spirit and, and in, truth. in truth. So uh-huh. why did he tell her that? Mm-hmm. Because he knows the flesh cannot amount to anything. So remember this. It requires you talk of the fruit of the spirit. We mentioned something about the love. Where is the love of God in you? Where is the spirit of God in you? Where is the peace of God? Oh, the peace that surpasses all understanding. The gentleness. How do you live that life? Mm-hmm. Do you allow God to lead you and to guide you? <clears throat> so if we live in the spirit, let us walk in the spirit, not in the flesh. Because the spirit of God will lead you into all truth. Yes. Be not be conceived. God is not mocked. That's right. Don't be deceived. God is not mocked. Remember that he does that whatever you sow in flesh, you just reap in flesh. But when you sow in spirit, you get it. The spirit of God is going to lead you and guide you. So God, remember, I want to tell you just a very short story before I go back. The spirit of God led Philip, Ethiopian eunuch, was just reading the word of God. That's he right. did not know what was happening because he read in flesh. But God released uh, Philip to go in spirit and meet with him. And he said, do you understand what you are reading? He said, no, we don't. And the Spirit of God opened his eyes, opened his ears, and showed him the Word of God. So today mm-hmm. we are here in the yes. studio to open your eyes, to open your ears, to tell you that you cannot do anything without the Spirit of God. Let the Spirit of God lead you and guide you. And he said, hey, what stopped me from being baptized? So today you hear the Word of the God. You hear the Spirit of the God. You know what God is about to do in your life. You remember, you shall minister unto me. Jesus gave that commandment and we need to do it. God is not a man that he should lie mm-hmm. or the son of man that he should repent. That's there is right. so much that we have to tell you, but I want you to start turning from this moment. He said, Lord, let the Spirit of God overshadow my life. Let me believe in spirit, not to believe with my eyes or with my ears. Let the Spirit of God lead me and guide me and direct me on whatever I have to do. We love you and God loves you. <clears> yes. <throat> Remember, the Spirit of God will lead you into all truth. God bless you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God. We need to give a a hearty clap for that one. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And I tell you, there's so much that we want to say, hallelujah, that we can't. We don't have enough time to say. But uh, but, but we're going to this uh, important uh, break. And when we come back, we're going to have a closing note. We have a couple of anointed ministers that's going to put a cap on it. And we have a very special anointed guest that you're going to meet just after this message, okay? To visit Rock of Ages Ministries on the web, just type into your web browser www.ronniebailey.com. You may click on links such as Missions, TV Schedule, Sermon of the Month, Contact Us, National, International, and Slideshow Galleries, just to name a few. Please add your contact information so that we can add your name to our mailing list. We would like to have the opportunity of following up with you in the future. For our international visitors, just click on your country's flag symbol located on our home page. This will change our entire website to the language of your choice. It's just that easy. Also, don't forget to sign our guest book. You may also insert your picture and comments if you choose as well. If you need prayer or counseling, please complete the information form below. 
One of our prayer councils will respond as soon as we receive your request. We are committed to assisting you with your most earnest needs. We could do better than that. Come on. <laughs> Amen. I want you to know I got the blessing. <laughs> I got the blessing as Minister uh, and Prophet Leonard Butler has stated. And I tell you, there's some very powerful anointed ministers here. We are going into the Word, but, you know, I like to, to just be, you know, just open and free to let you know uh, that, there's prophets in the house right now. There's apostles in the house. There's evangelists, pastors, and teachers. Amen. And, uh, and this next guest, by the way, uh, Minister Jeff Chaz, hallelujah, he has a background. Uh, he might could just touch on it real briefly. And uh, I believe God has placed him with this group because he will be able uh, to expound on the word in ways some of us have never experienced, because it's in his 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 his, his genes, you know, through his uh, heredity, you know, his father and mother. So just tell us a little bit about that, and then I want you to expound on the spirit world Amen. and operating in the spirit. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Apostle Bailey. Um, yeah. Um, far as on my father's side of the family, they go back to. Uh, uh well in Ukraine they were uh they were uh Jews there in Ukraine and they were um very uh Jewish heritage heavily Lord. persecuted in my uh I have to ask my sister again about the exact what you call him uh, he was a great grandfather he was actually the chief rabbi of Kiev which is the a capital rabbi. what capital of and of course, they suffered terrible persecution. And but God things, brought you. Yes, yeah. He brought you this far. So yeah, we yeah. know that God kept you here for a purpose. Yes, but yes. you know, it just bring my attention to that. Maybe we should have brought this shofar because <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Prophetess Bicker would have been uh, did the honors of blowing Amen. it for us Amen. like she did in that service recently. But let's go into word while we just yes, have a couple yes, of minutes. And yes. I, I wanna, um, <clears throat> What I, I I would like to do right right off the bat is to encourage any believers who are already Christians and any new believers, brand new believers, to please pray to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. and to start speaking in tongues and praying in the Spirit, praying in tongues. It will open up so many different things to you. It'll open up new power to you. You'll receive power from on high. I know I have. Now, Amen. now, in Romans chapter 8, verse 26, this mm -hmm. is important because the Holy Spirit will intercede for us in our prayers and make our prayers more perfect. Romans 8, chapter 8, verse 26. Uh, Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities helps our weaknesses in our prayers. That's make, right. Makes our prayers more perfect. Mm -hmm. The Spirit helps our infirm. For we mm. know not what we should pray as we ought. But the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Um, there are sometimes... Lord will wake me up in the middle of the night, like maybe three, four in the morning. And I don't see any reason to be up. And I go, Lord, I know I have to pray. I don't know what to pray about. So I start praying in the spirit. I start praying in tongues. And there's always a positive outcome somewhere, sometime. Mm -hmm. Now, now one, one more thing I want to say. Um, now, Jesus Christ. Yes. The Lord speaking in the gospel according to John in chapter 16, verse 13. He said, how be it when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you unto all truth. Mm -hmm. Like I was saying, he will make your prayers mm -hmm. effective. 
Right. Because we know not to pray as we ought. But whatsoever he shall hear, what the Spirit, Holy Spirit will hear from God, that shall he speak. And he shall show you things to come. Before they happen. And one more short point. In Matthew <laughs> chapter 7, verse 12, Therefore, all things whatsoever ye would that men do to you, do ye even so to them. For this is the law and the prophets. In other words, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. And one more short thing, Hebrews chapter 13, verse 2, as Apostle Bailey said, Be not forgetful to entertain strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels unaware. Mm -hmm. And you will never miss that if you follow Matthew seven twelve. That's right. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. <clears throat> it all fits together. Hallelujah. Let's give the Lord a hand clap. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And we are in these closing minutes, and we like to um, introduce our very special guest. Yes. We're going to ask her to have a prayer. Yes. And Damn. first of all, introduce yourself in your own <laughs> way. And then we're going to all join hands in the studio, y'all at home. And we're going to ask her to close us out in prayer. Go, which, tell us uh, your name and all. It's a blessing to be here talking about the spirits. I love to, to read the nine fruits of the spirit. And that's my favorite. I've been stuttering on it. And I've also been stuttering, uh, studying the word out of Hebrew 13, how Amen. to treat a stranger. Because I was told by one of the witnesses that, a drunk man came to a church and he was put out and I was strongly on that and I've been strongly just praying for the body of Christ all over the world. Amen. So Amen. it's a blessing to be here. And, and you, your name is? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm Sister That's okay. Evangelist and Tasha McGee. I minister in the Upper Ninth Ward of New Orleans. Amen. Well, look, while we have just a minute or so, we're going to ask our director to put on our prayer music. Let's join hands in the studio. Yes. And you dismiss us in prayer. Okay. You know, pray for the people out there and ask the Lord to touch them. And my, our director, he knows what to do. Let's hold hands, if you would. Okay. And you hold our hand, Dr. Paul, and, and put it close to you, right? Well, let's go. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of yes, Jesus, Lord. we just thank you thank for God. your Holy Spirit, Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you for sending your spirit down. Yes, my Jesus. Dear God, hey. we just asking you right now for those souls all over the world to Glory. hear your calling and hear your verse, not mine, dear yes, God. Yes, Jesus. Father, just touch them and lead them in the right direction, dear Hallelujah. God. Father, we just ask you to keep your blood poured over your people, your saints and your body of Christ, Hallelujah. Father. Hallelujah. Father, Hallelujah. in the name of Jesus, we just thank you for this spirit just moving right now yes, dear God yes, yes, it's flowing right now and we thank you Father mm. Father we, we believe in Paul when he talked about the Holy Ghost come down Father we believe in your spiritual hey. fruits of your spirit Father we thank you for the joy the peace Lord the self control how to treat a stranger Father Father we just thank you right now Father for kindness Lord, yes, Lord. for your peace Father yes, Lord. Lord we thank you for all of thank this, you, Lord. Lord. We thank you for this studio right now, Father. Thank you, we Jesus. thank you for the coverings of your blood right now, Father. Yes. Father, we ask you to let someone that's out there hear your calling, dear God, that they be raised up and in, in, in surrender yes, into Lord. you, Father, yes, in, the in the name of Jesus. We just Lord. thank you, Lord. We thank you thank for you. your blood and your hallelujah. blessing, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And I want to thank all my guests. Yeah. Amen for coming. Amen. Let's give yourselves another big hand. And I want to thank you out there for myself, Apostle Ronnie Bailey, Hallelujah, and Takako Bailey, and all of us of Rock of Ages. May God bless and keep you. This is our prayer. And look, while, while we have that last 30 seconds, I want the prophetess, the anointed vessel in this studio to just start ministering in prayer. And uh, whatever God would put upon your heart, let's continue to pray. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Until Thank we you, dear Father Lord.
Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Thank Jesus. Thank you, Father Lord. We Hand continue Lord to Lord pray. We continue to magnify your holy name. Touch the people at the home, Lord, Father still Lord. Draw them more closer Hallelujah. to yourself, dear Lord. At the hearing Shando of this voice, dear Lord, 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 let them hear your Shata. voice, Father, in the Thank name of you, Jesus. Jesus. Hindrances in their ways, dear Father, move it away Lord. in the name of Jesus. My let the God, children of God know that, Father Lord, that you love them so much. You care about them, Father, in the name of Jesus. The anointing that destroys the youth, say, shall come to pass that the Lord will be lifted of their Hallelujah. shoulder and the Father Lord Thank and of their neck and the yoke will be Jesus. broken because of the anointing. Father in the name of Jesus My touch God, them, Prince heal them whoever that is going oh, through Father anything in their life dear Lord say when you go through waters he will not swallow you then. Thank you for tuning in today. And on behalf of Apostle Ronnie Bailey and all of our guests here at Rock of Ages Ministries, we hope that you will take these truths expressed on today's telecast and pass it on to others along your life's journey. We also pray that you join with us in taking this message around the world for Jesus. Remember, we can't be God given, no matter how hard we try. For the more we give unto him, the more he'll give back into us. Now, if you need prayer or counseling, please avail yourselves to our prayer and counseling hotline numbers. They are 337-706-7262 or 504-613-7234. If you would like to write us, please send all correspondences to Rock of Ages Ministries, 201 South College Road. Lafayette, Louisiana, 70503. And remember to add your prayer request. Our email address is ronnie at ronniebailey.com. And our website can be accessed anytime at ronniebailey.com. You may also watch our telecast on our brand new webcast channel at www.voh.com slash channels slash Rock of Ages TV. And enjoy our telecast anytime, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at your convenience. Once again, we thank you for tuning in today. We trust that you have been blessed. Now, until next time, about this same scheduled time, may God bless you. This is my prayer.